Hi, I'm going to talk a little bit today about a feature within InDesign CS6 called Auto Size for Text Frames. Uh, we discussed this a little bit in a class I had about a month ago. We didn't really have time to go into it, so I promised you a podcast on it, and this is what this is about. So on this class file over on the left-hand side, uh, we have a little sidebar frame I'm going to select, and I'm going to zoom up on that with Command or Control Plus few times you can see it here real close and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and take some text and just for the sake of time I'm going to copy a paragraph out of here and I'll come over and I'll click after this paragraph and I'm going to hit a return and I'm going to paste in my information well as you can see down here in the lower right corner I have an overset text icon and you know what that means that means this frames too small to show me all the text. That's that paragraph I copied and pasted in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to undo that. I'm going to control or command Z that. And what I'm going to do with that frame selected is I'm going to go up into my text frame options area. So this is my favorite dialog box in InDesign. Uh, so we're going to go to object text frame options and it's command B on a Macintosh or control B and how I suggest students uh, learn that shortcut key is because this is the boss this is the boss menu in InDesign so I'm gonna go ahead and pull this up I'm gonna pull it over to the side here so you can see it simultaneously with the text frame back here I have preview turned on and the new option is over here on the upper right called auto size now by default of course auto size is turned off so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to turn it on and I'm going to turn it on in this case to the option of height only when I do this I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to uh, add in some text back here so let's go ahead uh, I'm going to click OK and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to double click or click here after this. I'm going to hit a return. I'm going to paste in my text and notice that the text frame automatically grew to take in that additional text. Now this was growing from the top down so the height is what is being uh, expanded. You know that if I take this out and I hit X it's going to adjust that actual text frame to uh, adapt to that height of that frame. The same holds true if I go back into text frame options, control or command B, and let's set up the options this time for auto size. Let's say we'll do um, width. So over here I'm going to click on this left icon in the middle. And this is a lot like Photoshop's canvas icon in case you've ever worked on it. I'm going to go ahead and put that in there. And I'm going to click OK. And what I'll do is I'm going to add some text. And I'll hit a return and paste. Automatically the width of the um, sidebar story here adapts and expands from left to right because we told it to put in the dynamic auto sizing of width. Now I'm going to undo that. In fact, let's leave that in there just for fun. I'm going to put that back in there and I'm going to go back into uh, my text frame options and let's see if we can see it change on its own here. So let's change this to height only and let's see if it will pick that up. I'm going to click in this top corner here and I'm going to click OK and now I'm going to come back here with the selection tool and let's see if we pull this over here like this now that shouldn't be high enough for it but automatically it dynamically enlarges the size of that so this is great for sidebar stories where you have a story that may grow or shrink and you've got this in the middle of a page or so on you can set this up so it will automatically do that resizing for you Another thing that you could do is let me uh, use my hand tool. I'm going to go Alt Space Bar, bar or Option Space Bar. I'm going to come over here to a jump line. And I have a little jump line here. It says Bikes Continued On. Let me zoom up on that. And maybe what we'll do is we'll set this one up. So in case this jump line frame is used someplace else, maybe I copy it from here, maybe I use it someplace else. I can automatically set this up if I go into the boss menu, 
command or control B. Let me turn on auto size and let me go ahead and put in width only. And then what you see the little arrow here, it's really kind of hard to see, but it's pointing back to the left. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to turn that on. So now if I type in here and add some text, this will dynamically change its width. So I'll delete that. Alrighty, so now another nice thing you can do, especially with something like a jump line or a photo credit, is I can select this frame, go under the um, window menu, come down to styles, to object styles, and I actually can save this as an object style parameter. So I'm going to go over here to new object style, and maybe we'll name this um, auto size uh, left and I'm going to go ahead and click OK to this and so now whenever I want to do a uh, jump line or a photo credit I can have it in this case no matter what text is in there and what size the frame starts out with it can work by adjusting itself in its width so if we pull this down and I draw another frame for a jump line I'm just going to hit a text tool. I'm going to come over here and line this up with smart guides and I'm going to say um, I'll set it up for like story continued on space and you know that you can right click or control click come down to uh, insert special character markers next page number and this will automatically read the text frame above it as long as I move up here and touch this other frame it should kick in to be number three and then if I apply some more text to this, let's see what happens. Now remember, I haven't applied the object style on it yet. So let's say um, the story dealing with bikes. Well, I've got overset text. But if I apply the object style to this called auto size left, automatically that frame will dynamically change its width. So there's a nice new feature. Again, this was under the boss menu, command or control B, text frame options, and it's under auto size. Why don't you go ahead and check that out, I'll run through some of those experiments, look at kind of the arrows and kind of practice on there on how this might work out for you.